This is episode one of Saving Crystal Spring Farm. The farmstead is circa 1790s. This is my good friend Yaglu. Yep, that's his name. He was and still is the MVP of my two historic preservation projects of old, early, broken down farmsteads in the Champlain Valley town of Essex, New York. And this is, was the first project that we did, the Oren Reynolds Farmstead in Essex, New York, circa 1815. This is what the farmstead looked like when I purchased it in 2009 before me and Yaglu started working on it. It had been abandoned 46 years and it was unbelievably a project. The house took about a year to finish and I kept it old school as it was in the hinterlands and I didn't plumb it, electrify it or anything. It didn't turn out too bad. Uh, nice little place. This is the second house we did. It's Crystal Spring Farm, circuit 1790s. Me and Yaglu started working on this late 2014. And we went right at it. This one was abandoned 20 some years and had a carriage shed and a lot of work to be done. And this is the finished project, but this documentation will be about us fixing it up the way we wanted to do it and with a lot of fun and bringing it back to the glory of a, of a nice old farmstead. This is the day I started to look at the project and this is how it looked to me when I first saw it. And then uh, here's a couple pictures of the uh, porches falling down shortly after we cleared some of the shrub away. And uh, this documentation movie is going to be about the work we did on it and mainly Yaglu and his MVP efforts. And there'll be a lot of candid moments and off the cuff remarks and it's all raw and, and gonna be entertaining. Let the fireworks begin. The next bunch of the images and videos will be when they were recorded of the time that they were recorded. It's about uh, April 6th and I know I should have filmed some of this house before we started really working on it, but here we go again from the side view. Uh, this house, uh, we do believe, early 1790s, with some remodeling done in about 1840s and 50s and 60s, as we'll talk about later in, in the interior. But this is uh, the side view of the house. There's a broken down porch there. The Anirondack Mountains there. I'm just gonna walk up slowly as best I can. I'm not, I'm an amateur photographer doing this with my iPhone. There's our newest worker here, Nicholas. He, uh, he's gonna get quite the experience here. We got lots of work to do. He's putting up a staging because we gotta get up to the slate roof to start repairing that soon. We have some of those windows we're reglazing in another place. This porch is broken down, which uh, is kind of going to be fun to. We're going to jack that up and lift that up from other barns that have fallen down. That beam that goes and uh, I mean, this place was full of junk and trash. It was abandoned for a long time. This, all the plumbing decayed, the electrics decayed. We got. But this porch is going to be amazing. We're just going to jack it up. It's all going to come back together. We're not going to use a lot of materials at all. It's all going to be as the, is. Uh, there's an old wood bat, wood door or coal door to put coal in. Now these uh, 12 or 8s were here. Most likely were taken from the first part of the house, which I'll explain later. We have tape on it because last month we it was awfully cold, so we took these home and repointed them or reglazed them and put uh, uh, just a few. The the blue tape is the original glass. And the others are the ones where we had to uh, put some replacements in it. I wanted to tell you about this back door. So I have to squeeze in this video after the fact. This is a triple batten door. And it was in the back of the original part of the house at one point, And then moved back to the back of this L at one point. The L is the back addition. And this is a real survivor. It is a triple batten door. Something like out of an Eric Sloan book. It has... It is made of rosehead nail constructed. It's three layers of wood. It's got, a, this is the 
to, to think that I use this every day. This is a nice old thumb latch, nice green paint, even creaks when you open it. What I mean by a triple batten door is the sides of it is made of three layers of wood horizontally. Hopefully you can see that. And then in the inside, it has this wonderful thumb latch and the patina and the wear. The door has got this original gray, green, blue, dirty, untouched condition. And I'm gonna keep it like, that. even it has a bead right along here. There's a decorative and a beetle up along here. And to think this thing made it all these years, I'm not going to clean it, I'm not going to touch it, I'm not going to paint it, I'm not going to do nothing to it. I'm going to keep it just like this, the original patina. A massive early farmstead. The beginnings of jacking this old porch up. Hopefully nothing falls on them. And we're starting to measure the cuts for uh, the 4x4s or 2x8s that will go up and start springing this up and I should all go back together. I remember my old, I preserved another old farmhouse from 1815 that was abandoned for 40 some years and people said I couldn't do it and we did it a lot easier with just labor. And there was an old wall that was caving in in the basement and everybody said it was gonna take me so long to do it. And this guy right here, Pete man, he's the man. He uh, hydraulic it back in about two days and uh, saved a lot of money and time and kept it real original. And uh, that's what we're gonna do with this porch. Yagley would say nothing to it except for to do it. Actually, there was a lot to do it and we're going back to the episodes now. Wait for a second. Oh. There's some nice screw jacks, man, nice old ones. This has uh, got the name Lansing on there and that's our neighbor. Uh, Dave Lansing was kind of instrumental in me buying this place and unfortunately he passed away right before uh, about two days before I closed on the place. Yeah. Yes, Nick? Did you get your hands on some slate hooks? Uh, no, I don't know where to get some, but we'll get some. All right. All right. Slate hooks. Um, we already jacked this up. I ran, ran out of batteries here. we got to turn down Pete's rock and roll music for a second. Because it drives me up the wall. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, Pete. See, we kind of rigged that up. And uh, we're gonna put another post down in there to rig this, this same type of system right at the header. And then we're gonna jack it all up at once. And hopefully this whole area goes ready to jack up this porch. This is a picture from the inside looking out. This is a to and fro uh, buckle. So we're making, making it go. Up. Then snap that off when it's screwed in. Okay, there you go. So we don't have that post beam coming across yep. Pete's right, head like come inwards. I like that. I like that. So we're pushing it out. Right. And we've replaced right, these jacks, in, or the, we readjusted right. these jacks by four times in, today. This is the second day on the porch. And so we still got a ways to go. Maybe maybe tomorrow we'll get it plumb. But we gotta go up above here on the roof well, and pull, up, a, pull away, uh, you can see where it's pulling away from the house a little bit because the joists when they're pulling away from the house, when they, when the porch was falling, we were trying to put it back up. The nails came away from the house and are stopping us from uh, getting the joists back up. So Pete's going to go up there and saws all those off and renail them. When all else fails, we'll have the if this rolls and catastrophic things happen. At least we'll have it by a few of the roof rafters. Okay, so we put it since this last video, we put a, a uh, another jack in plus the four and two or from and two jack so we're starting to jack it a little more again I'm looking for failure that means if uh, he screws it up too much any of these start kicking out we went up from 68 to 71 some inches we went up three inches that last jacking session so that's loose now so uh, there's there's one leave it there yeah so so this all has gone up about four and a half inches maybe and we're screwing that. I don't have much battery there, Pete. Let's do it. Uh, it's, this came up by the end. That's just when we started measuring. Yeah. We probably already had it up two, three inches before we started measuring. So maybe a total of seven or eight. Okay, here we go. See if we can see it go up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. What do you say, Betsy? Bessie. Come on, Bessie. 
going up. Uh, we have a VIP here, uh, <laughs> Steve Kellogg. Hi, Steve. How are you? And uh, brain damaged neighbor. Great. So we're we're gonna watch Pete put this up, and this is all gonna go up like. Uh, what's it gonna go up like, Pete? Slicker than snot. Slicker than snot. Yeah. All right. So so we got all the posts up here. Slicker than snot in a doorknob. Okay. <laughs> and so here we go. This is how we're. Here we go. This is actually happening. Plus, it's, plus it's the only way Pete's gonna get to work because uh, Harry's living on Pete's couch now for for a girlfriend reason, and uh, Pete lost his license. So now, so uh, now now Harry's driving. Oh, are you gonna keep cranking this, Pete? No, I think I'm going to go to lunch and leave this here because these okay. guys are kind of tall. Alright, we'll crank it up later. Make sure you wash your hands, Peter. Alright? That's our dog that's around all the time. Pete's dog. Mainly Roy. So, we've gone up 20 inches some, since yesterday. And uh, look at that. Crack is gone. Still got to go up about 5, 6, 7 <coughs> inches. <coughs> we replace these jacks probably. <coughs> I don't know how many times, Pete. How many times have we replaced these? Uh, this is like the third jump now. Third jump now. Knocking right now. Just went up about another inch. Does a little bit at a time. But you can see, we almost got it level. And then the next job is redoing the base of the porch and putting the decking back down. We'll be drinking a beer on this porch within... By the end of the week. By the end of the week, Pete says. As long as they don't run into any more problems. Now it made the DWI machine. If you can prove that they that the barometer has changed, this thing had it recalibrated, then you walk. All right, beautiful. Let's take a bit of information for the drinking, for the drinking driver. <laughs> now that we have most of the porch roof squared away, it's time to start in the porch floor. Only if we could find Yaglu. Well, we found him having his favorite lunch, beer and milk. After milk, he usually likes to take a nice little nap, wakes up, tells me he's not feeling the love, doesn't feel like working, and goes right back to bed. Now we got to start cleaning up this mess. Look at this mess back here we got. But we're going. We are going. Fucking nothing. Anywho, after we got it all cleaned up, we took out all the old mortar from the stone foundation behind and underneath the porch. And then we re-tuck pointed it all. We did a pretty good job of it, got it real nice and, and sound. And then after that, Pete made me dig six or seven post holes below frost to put the little post up to hold the old porch back together. That was uh, needed to be done. And, and now we're off to the races to put the deck in the uh, bottom of the or the, the floor is the down porch on the porch together. floor and we got all the wood right in here it's uh, hemlock it's all planed on one side and rough cut on the other and that'll go down we have enough the railings the original poster are all here the railings over there and we're ready to go yeah after we got the decking the flooring down on the porch floor I started to uh, take all the little pieces of architectural moldings and adornments that I'd saved and numbered and we started re-putting it back where it was before the porch fell down and we took a lot of detail, a lot of time just getting it just perfect and it turned out pretty good. Then I made sure one of the last important details was to get and to install the correct square pattern lattice work underneath the porch to make it look real classy. And I really like that effect, and it was probably what was on there. So then we painted the porch and turned out real nice. On to a few episodes about the roof. Say that again, what's this? This is all cedar shakes. This is cedar shakes underneath, underneath the slate. So the whole roof is probably original cedar shakes. You know? Probably are original, you yeah, know. School ones. So, they look uh, like they're red cedar too. Yeah, so we got quite the job up here. But most of the roof looks pretty good, doesn't it? It does. I don't know how much we're going to have to venture over.
Well, we were wrong. It took us about 500 slates to repair this old roof. That's Nicholas. He's waiting for the Maypole dance later on. It's uh, May 1st. He's uh, putting a rope around the chimney to tie himself on. So uh, he's all safe up there. This is the Maypole right here. That's the Maypole. <laughs> I would go to show you it's always something. A stunning rainbow. See it? Over. And there's the rest of the rainbow. <laughs> Nicholas, man, check that out, huh? It's unbelievable. It's one of the best rainbows I've ever seen. There's, it's like almost a, well, there's a double, there's a double one. See it over there? There's another ray. Totally double. It's better on the left than the right, right? Yeah. And there's the sunset, okay. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty pretty neat. On the roof here, and we decided to replace a lot of this uh, support beams, or support 2x4s. As you can see, they're pretty rotten. But this is the worst part of the house right here, because of all the snow and ice. And we're on it, we're getting it done. Lunch time, Peter. Wash your hands. Sometimes when you're on the job, you just improvise. What do you got there, Peter? Hacksaw blade. Yeah, but what do you got uh, eating it with? Hacksaw blade? Is that what? Hacksaw. Huh? Hacksaw. You mean hacksaw. <laughs> Good for your, uh... Good for iron poor blood. We're decking it with, uh... Rough cut here. As you can see. The mess below. I turned off Pete's rock and roll for a few minutes. You can see way over there, we got a Got it going. All right. It's been a long time. Leaving this place for a while. Oh, probably a week. Got a nice little sculpture there of the tendons that Harry did. There she is. <laughs> oh, those are my apple trees, all my grafted apple trees. Right there, hopefully they survived the week without me. It looks like this segment of the video of the preservation of Crystal Spring Farm has tired poor Peter out. I hope you join us in the future as I, I'm, I plan on making more video clips of the interior of the house, the carriage head and the barns, and the progress for the, what we made from the beginning to the end. So please check back for future videos. Thanks.